Obituary and you're watching Hardcore Sound TV. We had the Tusca Festival as a That's an obituary. It's going for you guys. Good, good. We're uh, just doing some festival tour, you know, and uh, today's great. I'm in Tuscan actually for this festival, so it's pretty cool. Didn't know what to expect, but uh, I mean, I don't know. I said it's hard to say your favorite because we played Grass Pop Fest uh, a few days ago. That's a huge festival, that's amazing. It's, it's hard for me to have a favorite thing, like a favorite band, a favorite car. So to have a favorite festival, it's hard to say. Years ago, Dynamo Fest was like the thing for us, you know, years ago, but uh, it's always good. You know? There's one in Italy called Gods of Metal we like a lot. <laughs> so it's all good. Yeah. All the festival fun. So. Yeah, so uh, this custom, uh, it's, uh, it's our favorite memory from uh, all of the gigs and done, festivals, whatever. Uh, What's your favorite yeah. memory from all the dates? What comes to mind? I mean, so many things have happened in 25 years. Yeah, uh, I mean, probably. Probably one of the best things was the first time we came to Europe, 1990, we came over, and uh, I guess it was in September, October of 1990, and that was sick, I mean, you know, we never left America, I mean, we've been to Canada, but we never left the continent of North America yeah. and went <laughs> across the seas, you know, that was pretty sick, obviously, and, uh, but probably one of my best things, uh, we played a festival, we played two in the same year. Uh, might have been Gods of Metal. Uh, or it might have been uh, was another one we played. I think it was Gods of Metal's our first time. We played with Slayer. And that was like pretty sick for us because we were huge Slayer fans. And we finally got to play a show with Slayer and that was pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the younger fans, like uh, kids who were never uh, actually them younger than even more. So, uh, how do you get kids like that to like your music? Where's the magic in that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we just, like I said, we do what we do. And I think if a, if a child, say, has a parent who listens to Slayer or a old obituary, and they put that on, I think a small child will like to hear that and go, holy shit, this is good. Music is just there, you know. Like my children, uh, I've got a seven year old, and when he was. Two or one, 
one even. He'd be in the back of the car, be driving down the road, he'd be crying. And I'd put on some Celtic Frost, you know. He go. Instantly, it's just silent. He go, and the speaker'd be right there. He'd be like, like yeah, you know, like so that music, that kind of music, like Frost or Obituary, and that kind of that old school death metal has. So it's very powerful, you know. And it's kind of, it's very primitive and primal. You know, so I think it. I think anybody, even if you don't like metal, you can hear that music. Maybe the vocals, you might go, what the fuck? But the music of it, you might go, wow, it's very, it's animalistic. I think uh, people can catch it. My, my grandmother, she's dead now, bless her heart. But I mean, when, you know, I was like writing music years ago, and she listened to country music and bluegrass and stuff. She would hear obituary, she goes, you can shake your butt to that music, you know what I mean? So, uh, if you wouldn't do music, what else would you do instead of music? Uh, it's just hard to say because I love to play music, but I, for fun, on the side, I, uh, some work I do, I do uh, graphic arts, graphic design and stuff, I do that kind of stuff. I did one school for years ago. And, Actually, obituary was uh, not together for like six or seven years, and I, that's how I was making my living doing that. And uh, I love to cook. <laughs> Actually, I have a barbecue sauce, <laughs> my own barbecue sauce. I have bottled it. So, tbonesfamous.com, go there. But uh, seriously, I I love to cook. So, I mean, I have a I like to. Uh, I don't know if you heard of this. Uh, it's called slow cook. You. Uh, it's called smoking meat. You ever heard of smoking it? Yeah. So I do this at home for fun and. And it ended up turning into a company, like people, uh, everybody liked the, my food so much, they called me, hey, you come to my party and we'll pay you to cook for us, you know, so I do this for fun, you know, and it's, it's, it's good for the mind, I think, you know, art and yeah. cooking and have to have something extra. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and I race cars too, actually. These kind of oh, cars, dwarf, they're called dwarf cars, they're uh, uh, vintage American cars, they're old from like the... Uh, 30s and 40s. I do that for fun too. That's for the that's the metal, the heavy metal part. <laughs> what's, what's next? Uh, uh, we got a lot of things going on. We're uh, like I said before, we're you know we're writing some new stuff. Kind of always trying to write music. Always. Um, um, obviously, we're doing some shows, uh, but uh, I think the future we're gonna uh, probably end up having our own record label. We're gonna probably put out our own album next time, and uh, and then eventually maybe put out other bands' music, you know, something. Because we have our own studio, so we can record people for nothing, and we can put it out on the market and help people out. You know, so probably in the future. Thanks a lot for, uh, for your time. Cool. Thank you. Good to show me.